Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about W4 Games. If you've never heard of it before, this is a uh, commercial services built around the Godot game engine. And the thing is, W4 Games was founded by some of the key people at Godot, uh, including the community lead, as well as the founder of the Godot project. So obviously there are some big people behind this. There's also a decent amount of venture capital behind this. And this is a, a way of building commercial uh, ecosystem around the Godot game engine. It's also a way for these people to make money, which again, I don't fault them for it. But they made three major products here. Uh, notice my use of past tense there. Uh, the big one here, the one that the most people know about is W4 consoles. This is a version of Godot specifically targeting consoles. So if you want to build for uh, the Xbox, the PlayStation 5, or the Nintendo Switch, uh, this is a version of that. There are other porting companies out there, by the way, that do um, port for Godot games to various different consoles. You do not have to use the solution, uh, but they do offer this. So if you want to build games for consoles with Godot, they have a pre-made solution. Uh, it is not the, the cheapest thing you have ever seen in your life, but uh, uh, it, it is available. So if you want to develop for um, consoles, you need support, you need the tooling to do it, that is what W4 Consoles is all about. The other one is W4 Cloud. Uh, this is your typical online services. Uh, instead of having to host them yourself, if you are developing things like uh, networking, matchmaking, lobbies, um, and so on, that is what this offers. Basically, it creates headless servers. They do cloud-based hosting for you. So if you want to have a turnkey networking solution, W4 Games provide something like that in the form of W4 Cloud. And then today we had or had W4 Build. Now this uh, is basically a cloud-based build system. So this is all around the idea of continuous integration integration, or a CI solution. So if you're doing automated optimized builds, that is what it provides. You see you got this uh, UI here for kicking off and managing your builds. Uh, so it was a powerful cloud-based CI solution tailored to meet the unique needs of game developers using the Godot game engine. Uh, so whether you're crafting custom Godot builds, integrating proprietary code, or seeking to automate your workflow, W4 Builds offers a flexible, efficient platform to help you achieve your development goals. So why would you choose it? Makes making custom builds easy, seamless integration of custom code. Uh, you can automate your build pipeline. You can build specifically for Optimize. And of course, you can leverage their hardware, which in theory is better than your hardware. So that is the entire idea behind W4 Builds. Basically, it's cloud-based builds and ongoing build management solutions. And the thing is, I use past tense a lot because quite frankly, they are killing it off. So I got a couple of bits of feedback on this. First one I'll say up front, W4 Games are handling this very well and somewhat poorly at the same time, in my humble opinion. First off, uh, this should be down, it, it, I would say. Like, if you're on the website, they're not onboarding any more customers, but it should have been acknowledged here, and it should also be in their news release, because basically, the only people that know about this, and I guess are the people that need to know, is W4 Cloud or W4 Build customers have gotten this email. So, this is coming from the Godot Reddit. Hi. We are willing to share, we are writing to share an important update about W4 Build. After careful consideration, while W4 Build has been used for hundreds of builds by thousands of users, we have decided to only continue operating this service for enterprise customers. Uh, in parallel, because we know many of you enjoy the service and would wish to continue using it, we are open sourcing W4 Build and donating it to the community. That is a very class act. So if another company wants to come along and start offering the solution, they have something to build upon, or if somehow you can make a, um, a free version of this community supported. I don't know how you would do that because running servers does actually have a cost attached to it. But the technology behind W4 Build is being open sourced, which is quite cool. It is going to be under the AGPL. I don't remember the AGPL specifically. Uh, being part of the GPL is definitely going to have limitations that you're going to want to be aware of. This isn't like the MIT or BSD license where you can do what you want with it. There are going to be some limitations in place. Um, the W4 Build website will be updated with more details in the coming days. So again, my only little bit of feedback is they probably should have done this right away. Uh, ensure you have uh, full access to source code and the ability to run or adapt the system independently. So what does it mean for people using W4 Build? They're no longer onboarding new customers. That means you can't sign up for it. The existing hosted W4 Build system will remain online until the end of January 2026. That is awfully short offboarding. You basically have a month to build, set up your own build system. But the nice thing here is, unlike their other solutions, such as W4 Cloud, you don't have to change your code. Like this is part of your workflow. Your project itself isn't going to change. Your project workflow is. Uh, but I do think having basically one, one and a half months to, to get off of this, 
that's a little quick. I would like to see them go a little bit longer than that personally, but uh, at least on this side, if you are a paid user, that final month is going to be free. So I think at the end of the day, what it boils down to is they created a product. That product has fixed costs, you know, to run it on the server side, etc. It wasn't making those costs back from the sounds of things, and they, they killed off the product, which I think, you know, sometimes you make a product and it's a bit of a dud, and, uh, you know, you don't just continue to throw money into a pit if that pit is eating all of your money and there's no end in sight. So I think shutting something down makes sense. And then the way they did this, uh, again, open sourcing it, that is A1 class act. They did not need to do that, and I applaud them for that. So the community will ultimately benefit from that, and hopefully we'll see some kind of a product, a community product, come out of this. I do think uh, the only notifying via email is a little iffy, and I think one month might be a little bit quick in terms of winding it down. But otherwise, pretty straightforward. They could have done nothing. They could have just shut it down. Uh, but then, obviously, people will have trust issues with you in the future. I do think open sourcing it was a class act. But basically, W4 Games, W4 Build is going to no longer be a thing the end of January. Let me know what you think. And also tell me how you think about how they wound it down. Do you think it, the timeline is reasonable? I do think definitely making it free for the last month is a reasonable move. And open sourcing it is a very reasonable move. It's just that that you've got a month and a bit to get off it, especially over the Christmas holidays. That one is a little bit of a bitter pill. But let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.